Oh, oh, damn it. Woohoo! Oh. Die! 미쳤습니다. Outdoor survival skills instructor, Cody Lundin. And 20 year special ops veteran, Joe Teddy. Two guys with two completely opposing survival tactics show how to overcome extreme heat, dehydration, and deadly animal in one of Africa's most punishing environments. In order to get to life, you have to flirt with death. Welcome to Zambia. So what goodies do we have in here? Pants. Not really my brand. Check the pockets on that thing. Yeah, the first thing that comes to my mind is to use the pants, possibly as a bandage. If somebody gets hurt, maybe a sling. What the hell is that? Just some sort of rubber. The rubber bands are so light and compact and potentially multi-use that we're going to take them with us. All right, what else you got in there? Freaking beer. You know, obviously, these cans are still valuable, but the beer isn't worth anything out here, except dehydrate you. <laughs> Alcohol is a diuretic. You don't drink alcohol in an environment like this. That's why I'm dumping it out. But the cans can be used as a cooking device or to collect water. Damn it, man. Look at the size of this baobab tree. Wow, there's actually an entrance into this thing. Uh, there is no way a big animal is going to get in here. <coughs> it's not the most sanitary place. There's definitely a crap smell in here. And I, uh, there's bats in here too. It's really dark in this tree, but what I hear is some squeaking noises, which I'm pretty sure are bats. I've got an idea on how to get them out, though. The smell of burning elephant dung is disgusting to most animals. So what I'm going to do is light some of this stuff, chuck it in there, and flush out all the bats. Oh. There we go. That's what I wanted. <coughs> Arnold. Good job. Good job. This smoke's going to scare away the bats and insects. They're not going to want to spend the night here. <coughs> Cody! Come here, man. Check it out, brother. Wow. What I had to do is burn some of this elephant dung to smoke some bats out, and it worked. So we're good to go. You know, this is an old baobab tree. The bats have been pooping and peeing in there for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. Bat poo and pee can carry diseases that I'm not real too hip about. Histoplasmosis, also known as cave disease, can be contracted from inhaling the fungi that grows in bird and bat excrement. The disease primarily attacks the lungs and can be fatal if left untreated. It's dirty, it stinks, but to me, the risk reward, that's the place to stay. This is a perfect shelter. It is a bunker. It can't get any safer. This is a no freaking brainer. The risk is huh? negligible at best. Getting some kind of <laughs> Cody, what the hell is that thing? That's a boat, man. Look at the cordage. Look at the black string on the front of it. Well, there is no way in hell we can leave that here. Because if that thing floats, that's our way out of here. Hey, Cody. While you're paddling, I plan on using some of this fishing line that we got and that nasty, stinking fish that was in this can and maybe catch a fish in here. I mean, no damn well there's got to be fish in here. This is a brutally harsh environment, and it's taken its toll on Cody and I. What we need right now is some energy. I've got line, and I've got a hook, and I've got some nasty, stinking bait. Don't that just look yummy? Mm -mm. I'm going fishing. 
Very simply, I'm just gonna use a method called trolling. I'm gonna bait the hook, throw it in the water, and drag it behind us. Oh, 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 Cody, I got something. Oh, there it is, holy crap. Dude, what the is it? I don't know, it's a big fish. Because this thing's going around, it's pulling the boat left and it's pulling the boat right, and I got a real strong feeling we're going in the drink. I'm all hosed up here. The line's all over the place, it's under the boat, it's over his head. It's getting around the boat, it's going under the boat, and the damn fishing line is wrapping around my neck. Don't pitch your body, I can't Cody, see. just paddle. I don't need to hear your advice right now. I'm trying to maneuver the boat around to get a good vantage point about what this thing is, and there I see it bubble to the top, an unmistakable flash of a tiger fish. That thing's huge. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, look at the teeth on that thing. Look at those teeth. Cody, grab this thing and quit admiring its teeth. Oh, got my boot. I've already impaled this thing through its damn neck, and it's still alive. Look at that. Hold the paddle on it. Hard. Die. He's still alive. He's still alive. OK, it's dead. Holy Look at that. We need to get off this river and camp for the night. This has been a long day. Look at that thing. With dinner secure and dusk approaching, Joe and Cody head toward land to seek a place to shelter for the night. You want to find us a good spot, bro? Well, this is a two-person decision. You know, the crocodiles are there. What do you think about right in here? Good vantage point, a lot yep. of visibility. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elephants. I mean, am I comfortable sitting here in the open? No, but. I think this is the best call, you know. Done. Done and done. Okay, so Priorities you, of work. you have a fish to clean. Yep. And I'll gather a bunch of crap to put it all around. All right, man. Right now, Cody and I are cooking with white gas. We got a fire, we're disinfecting water, we got a fish, we got our security out. That's a home run in my book. Our next thing to do is just get the hell out of here tomorrow. We gotta get this water out. That's what I'm saying. I know that. Just don't rock right the boat. This Makora with two big guys in it is notoriously unstable. So we have to be very deliberate about how we move our bodies. It's really leaking good now. Dude. Yeah, we Cody, we're heading right towards some hippos. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. We come around a bend and bam, they are all around us, 360 degrees. If you keep doing that, that's gonna push us that way, Cody. Yes, we're gonna get taken right down that channel. You gotta paddle to the right, man. Paddle right. We need to avoid that deep water. I don't have enough navigational power with this homemade paddle to do anything very quick whatsoever. You're gonna spin the front around. Cody, you're gonna have to paddle. No, we don't wanna do that. We're spinning again. Picture being in a very old style boat that has about this much of the boat above the water, and then picture several feet away, several thousand pound animals who are very territorial and you have a new feeling for the word terror. Perfect, dude. Dude, you're, he you're heading perfect right there. You're gonna push us right down the shallow end. Not too juicy. Thankfully, the current and Cody's paddling took us away from these animals. Joe, I don't know what that means in Dippo, but let's get the hell out of here, man. We wanna go toward the shore more. We're good, we're me. good. Yep, we're all right. Having averted disaster, Joe and Cody continue the journey downriver, unscathed for now. Hey, Joe, I see a, like a, I think that's a shelter or something up there. Oh, yeah, there is, dude. Paddle closer over this, take a peek. There's a dude. Where? Hey! A dude right up there. Hey! <laughs> Sweet. Take us in, dude. Hey! Cody and I used every trick in the book to get out of this place. Solid survival skills and a combat mindset is a formidable weapon. Don't rely on Lady Luck to take you out of a place like this. She's not gonna answer. Save your own butt. Amen. <sighs> hey,